what's going on everybody my name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage in today's episode we have a 1993 Acura NS6 Brian and John will tell you guys a little bit more about it so looking over the paint the uh, car is actually here for a refresh it looks beautiful on camera but if you look really close the whole hood has some damage some touch-ups here and there and for how beautiful this car is we want the front end to completely match so we'll go re-sand the whole hood down uh, John says we're gonna fix the uh, headlight covers that uh, don't match exactly. The bumper has some road debris and some scratches. And then we're gonna go and blend into the actual fenders. We don't have a lot of room from blending since the fender is so close to the door. So uh, we'll show you a technique on how to get those two colors the same because right now it doesn't even match. Now, uh, we also have fiberglass um, side shirts we'll be adding. But before we do all that, John's gonna help me take apart the front bumper take off the hood so we're not doing all that sanding on the hood and priming is it easy to take off um not as easy as a modern car but it's not super hard it's very similar to an older integra like my 91 integra you have to remove your turn signal lights and then also down here to get access to the bolts to the bumper support because the bumper is actually mounted to the bumper support and when you remove the bumper you remove the bumper support and the bumper is one piece. Then on the bench, we take it apart and completely disassemble it. So we have some hardware here, clips underneath, and a whole bunch of 12s under here. It's a little complicated. These are also a little bit tricky to get out, but once the bumper's off, it's real easy. Side skirts are pretty much like any other newer car. They clip on to remove, you slide them back. One, two, three, I think, don't think it'll be that hard to take apart. All right, let's get to work. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the car up and get the wheels off. All right guys, so I think we're gonna work from the bottom up. What do you say, John? Yeah, that's gonna be the plan. So if you can take a peek here, I don't know if you can see it, but way up in there is a screw and we're gonna try and get to that and that's what's gonna take out this, which is gonna give us access to some of the 12 millimeter bolts that actually bolt the bumper support and bumper into place. So let's work on that first. Okay, so we have all the hardware off, all the mounting bolts, all the clips, everything's off, the bumper's ready to come off. Bumper's pretty heavy because not only does it have the bumper support in it, but it has the windshield washer reservoir in it, and that thing's full of water too. So I mean, not that it's too heavy where you can't pick it up, but with one person, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable, and we don't wanna drop anything. So Mike's gonna give me a hand with this, 
And as we take it off, we're gonna have to unplug the washer reservoir pump, it's down under here, and the hose going to the reservoir from the car. And we're gonna have to do all that while taking the bumper off, also unplugging the horns. So, it takes about four hands to do this. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the headlight covers. And to do this, a lot of people don't know that most pop-up headlight cars, I know the NSX does in particular, you don't actually have to turn the headlights on to pop the headlights on. Right here in the car, on the dashboard, there's a button. And that's for popping up the headlights. So we pretty much got everything apart now. We just gotta go ahead and disassemble the front bumper. All right, guys, we are all done with the disassemble. Now, Brian's gonna take over and get all this part refinished.
And we got the NSX back in the body shop. We're ready to start the repair process. Now, although this hood looks great on camera and all the other parts you might see, they have a lot of rock chip, a lot of road debris, a lot of scratches that needs to be completely sanded down. So what you're gonna see in the process and in the next few scenes is that we're gonna be taking down the paint. We're gonna be leveling it off with a 180 grit sandpaper. And from there, what we'll do is we're gonna primer all of our parts. Now, the point of the primer is to fill and smooth out. And then we can sand our primer and get it ready for paint. So sit back and enjoy the few scenes of us getting these beautiful parts ready for paint. And starting to get some paint on this panel, this is actually a red sealer. And we use a sealer for good coverage of our base coat. And you can see that red really does take a lot to cover, but it's no match for our system as we lay down this beautiful sealer. And then what we'll see is a base clear coat follow on the hood and the rest of the parts. And that is the process that we're going to be following. It's the same process for all the parts. Pretty much it is going to be a sealer, it is going to be a base coat, and it's going to be a clear coat. It's really pretty simple in theory, and that's all it is. And that's all it takes to match this beautiful Formula Red Acura NSX.
Now getting down to the final parts of this build, we have the front bumper and all the other miscellaneous parts that will complete the car. Now this front bumper is a two piece bumper. Now being so low, it has acquired a ton of little, little damage. So we really wanna take our time to smooth it all out. Now this is one of the first things that you're gonna see when you come up to the car, you're gonna see that beautiful hood and this front bumper. And we wanna make sure it is completely smooth. If we don't take care of any defect now, well, the paint is just gonna highlight it. So we'll go ahead and we'll finish up the bumper. We have the headlight covers. We have the rocker panels to reprime a couple times the aftermarket side skirts that is. And then we'll get this thing back to the uh, shop. We'll start some wet sand and buffing and get it all assembled.
and we got the hood and all the rest of the parts back in the shop now in a regular collision job we might just stop right here but this is just not a regular job this is a beautiful timeless Acura NSX and well we want to make sure the paint is absolutely flat just the same way it rolled off the assembly line back in 93 so that's just what we're doing we're moving little defects here and there and then we'll go ahead and sand and cut down the whole entire hood and we'll do the same process on all the parts we paint it just to ensure that the consistency of the paint is 100% even. So that's what you're gonna see in the next few scenes. And then we'll go ahead and turn it back to the guys. They'll finish up the install along with myself and we'll get this thing ready for the road. Alright guys, just like that, the front end's completely put back together. Brian, tell me a little bit more 
about this NS6 paint job here? Well, it is absolutely beautiful now because when it first came in, it was a couple shades and not the best paint work. This is showroom, showroom quality, probably how it came out from the factory the first day. And if you're looking at it, you can see that everything is consistent, everything matches. We have beautiful, high clarity gloss paint. I can't say enough of how happy I am with the way that this came out from the bottom all the way to the top. Every single detail has been buffed where it needs to be and any imperfections been taken out. And it looks stunning just looking at it. Now the front end is all done. What else do we have to we do? Have a couple more things to do. Um, we have the uh, side skirts here. So we have the side skirts all ready to slide on to clip in. And then we have like a molding here, which we'll show you. We'll put some double sided tape on and that just sticks on. And that's pretty much it. So we just applied some 3M adhesion promoter and that's mainly so that the tape can stick. This surface right here isn't the best surface for tape so when we put that adhesion promoter on it's going to be like glue. I'm going to go a little bit past the edge so I can have a nice cut line with my razor. So what we have here is the system that this car uses for the windshield washers. This part installs in the hood here and then the sprayer goes into the top and it accepts into here and that's how the seal works. So we'll go ahead and show you how we put these in. I was able to paint these and refinish them perfectly. Hopefully they work because he used a staple to block off the holes, but he didn't clean this thing off. And I'm really disappointed about that. So now we're waiting for him to clean up. How's that going, Brian? It's like doing art to press, no problem. Did you get any good grades in art press? 
I, I, I did. I was really great in art class, and they loved me a lot. Well, I knew how to paint. All right, so the last part we're putting on the car is the emblem. So this emblem is off of the facelift NSX, the fixed headlight, which is 02 to 05. And it's a real basic emblem. All the previous pop-up headlight style ones are a A and kind of like in a resin and with a silver gray background. Badge. A badge. Yeah. Emblem, badge. Mm -hmm. That's an emblem and <clears throat> the badge is more Bold. Well, I'm going to call it an emblem either way because that's what I want to call it. Thank you, Brian, for your input. I, I appreciate that. All right. So what we have to do now is make this work because these two holes here fit the previous badge. And now we're using the emblem, so we have to put it in a different location. So we have to use the legs of this emblem to go ahead and cover the holes. And I think that's pretty close. Brian's going to go ahead and mock us up. Make sure it doesn't look weird. Straight? That I don't know. There we go. Straight, that's right down the middle. Work. Brian did a great job painting the car. You give credit to John to take the front end uh, back together. Yeah, you know, on these older cars, taking them apart, I, was, I made mention that there's so many components that go into it that you really need to remember and pay attention to exactly how it was uh, put together originally. So really proud of this job that we did here at the shop. You guys like what you see? Make sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. And well, I know we probably have a lot more projects coming along after doing this one. Everyone's going to want to get their car done. So we'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys. <laughs>